Hello everyone, you're on to Healthy Options with Mori. Today we'll be making some spicy millet porridge, also known as cocoa. The only difference between the porridge and the cocoa is that with the cocoa you have to sieve the paste you get after you must have ground your millet with some water. But we're leaving the fiber intact here because we want the benefit that comes with the fiber. Millet is actually very rich, very good for you. I listed the benefits in the past video and I'll also be listing it in this video too. Another great thing about this porridge is that you can actually have it without sweetness, making it great for diabetic patients. Most times I get people telling me what can a diabetic have for breakfast. This would be great for breakfast for a diabetic patient. It's really good, I love it without the sweetener and it tastes really great. Come with me as we make this, I know for sure you will like this. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to do so by clicking on the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this and please do share as well. Thank you. So for our spicy millet porridge, we will be needing some millet flour, ginger, this has already been washed and cut into chunks, some dried chili pepper, whole cloves, and the seed of serene. This is actually called Oda, back home, where I come from by the Ewoods. So we'll just be crushing this into bits because we'll be grinding all this up right now in the blender. The spices will all go into the blender and they will be ground up. So into the blender goes the ginger, seed of selim, cloves and some dried chili pepper. So I'll add everything into the blender and then I'll be adding on some water. So I just finished up blending now and we'll be saving this out. So right here we have a muslin cloth and we just poured in the ground spices and I'm going to be rinsing the blender out with some water. I'll be adding the water as well into this. So that's what it looks like on the inside. If you're not used to spice, I will advise you wear gloves while doing this because this is a bit spicy. So you just squeeze that all out. That's what the fluid looks like as you can see. So we are going to be adding the fluid of our blender spices into the blender. So into the blender that goes. Then the millet flour goes in. So the major reason why we want to grind our millet flour with the fluid we obtained is because we want our millet porridge to have a smooth texture. So just in case your millet flour is not well ground, winding it again with the fluid will give a smoother paste and will make you enjoy your porridge to the more. I'm just going to turn this up. So I'm going to be turning off the blender now. That goes into the bowl and we are going to let this sit overnight so that it can ferment. The fermentation adds a punch of flavor to it. So I'm just going to cover this and let this sit overnight. Then by tomorrow, we'll proceed with making our spicy millet porridge. So that's what our spicy millet porridge looks like the next morning. You can see a lot of bubbling activity going on there. And that's the fermentation you're looking at. You can actually scoop the sediment out at this stage, but it's usually easier to stir it up and then place it in the refrigerator for some time. What this does is that it stops the fermentation process. So it also stops all the bubbling activity going on there and it helps it settle and it gives a clear demarcation. So I'm just giving it a stir right now and I'll be placing it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours so that it settles. And then I will get it out of the fridge, let it warm up to room temperature before I scoop out the amount we'll be needing for our spicy millet porridge. I brought it out about 30 minutes before making the spicy millet porridge and I will show you what it looks like at the base. So I'll be putting my spoon in to show you what's happening at the base. So that's what we are collecting for our cocoa. Putting this into a clean bowl and we'll be dissolving some of this with the fluid that we fermented with. 
depending on how spicy you want your cocoa you can actually use plain water but I want mine spicy so I'm going to be adding some fluid in here and the fluid will thin it out a little bit so you can see how nice that paste look like it looks like I said the good thing about this style of porridge is that you have all your fiber intact you're not saving out anything so we don't want any lumps as you can see I'm still seeing lumps I'm going to keep stirring till we get rid of all that lumps so right here we have our water boiling vigorously I just turned that off and it's beginning to settle and I'll start adding this and stirring at the same time as I add You have to turn off your heat before you actually add on your raw porridge. It's thickened white considerably and free of lumps as well. What you see in there are just bubbles as a result of the stirring. Some people like their cocoa a little bit lighter than this. We actually prefer it thick and this is how I'll be serving it. If you prefer it lighter, all you need to do is to add on a little bit of warm water and it's just going to lighten your cocoa nicely. So this is how I like to serve my spicy millet porridge. Just turn it into a bowl. You can see how beautiful that looks. I like to serve this with some pan fried lakara. It also goes well with some masa. I hope you give this recipe a go and let us know what your take is on this. Remember, this spicy millet porridge is great for diabetic patients, so please recommend it to someone that needs it. You can actually sweeten it with a sweetener, or you can have it just as it is, and it tastes great because of the spices that has already been incorporated in it. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Please, if you've not subscribed, don't forget to do so by hitting on the subscribe button and do share as well. Thank you.